welcome to today's video. In this video we're going to talk about modern floor construction and the tactic of sounding the floor as an indication of whether a crew should go or no go. Please enjoy. As you can see on this slide, modern flooring systems are no longer dimensional lumber but rather engineered systems. These engineered systems have replaced the mass with geometry which can span great distances but because there is less mass, they tend to fail quicker when being attacked by fire. Here you will see the layers of a modern floor. The multiple layers of the modern floor are designed to limit the amount of thermal energy passing through them. As a result, the multiple layers of this modern floor, a fire could be hiding on the bottom side while exhibiting modest temperature increases on the top side of the floor. Thermal imaging cannot accurately read the heat signature on the bottom side due to the multiple layers that it is comprised of. Firefighters are at risk of falling through fire damaged floors. Fire burning underneath floors can significantly degrade the floor system with little indication to firefighters working above. Floors can fail within minutes of fire exposure and new construction technology such as engineered wood floor joists may fail sooner than traditional construction methods. NIOSH recommends that firefighters use extreme caution when entering any structure that may have the fire burning beneath the floor. The pictures in this slide are a sad reality of how fire affected an unprotected flooring system resulting in our fellow brother from Indiana dying. Please take the time to learn more about this incident by reading this NIOSH report. The decision to go interior or not to go across the floor should be made after a good size up of critical factors. The following are a few parameters that can be used to make this important decision. Go when you know you have a viable victim, no impending flashover, and the floor membrane is in place. No go, no viable victim in heavy fire conditions, impending flashover, floor membrane appears to be damaged by fire. If products of combustion are venting from multiple windows below grade, this venting is increasing the amount of air intake, which in turn increases fire propagation on the lightweight modern floor. After a good size up with a 360 has been completed, the officer decides to make entry. Here is the traditional sequence of events that we have all trained to do for so many years. Force entry, advance hose and make entry, then sound the floor. Traditionally, firefighters have been taught that sounding the floor would indicate if a floor was weakened by fire. This observation helped to make a go, no go decision. While firefighters still need to sound the floor, it is not always 100% accurate due to the multiple layers of the modern floor. The sound and feel of a solid floor will vary. Floor types, loads, striking methods, and types of tools along with other variables will affect this action. After a good size up including a 360 is completed, this is what we suggest. Force entry if needed. Close the door you have just forced to limit the fire's air intake. Once you have a charged line ready to go, open the door and assess the interior conditions with a thermal imaging camera. Make entry. Sound the floor. Bury your tool into the floor to make an inspection hole. Assess the inspection hole with your thermal imaging camera and look for a high heat temperature and products of combustion coming out of the hole under pressure. Once you have completed these steps and you feel it is okay, you can go. While I am sure some are saying this is a very long process and you wouldn't have time to complete all these steps, the other alternative is possibly falling to your death. This is your choice.
the end of the video, we give you some other alternative methods, things that can make you safer, uh, determining whether you should go or no go across the floor. Uh, one thing that I think in the fire service we failed to think about, though, is simply the way we as firefighters move throughout the fire floor. Uh, most firefighters will crawl on their hands and knees, uh, and in my opinion, that sets you up for failure in, in an event that there would be no floor there and you would fall to the basement. So I'm going to show you the first method, um, and then I'm going to show you the second one, which I prefer, which I call the duck method of how to move throughout the, the floor. So first one would be hands and knees, which is how most people crawl. So as the firefighter would go across the floor, he's crawling, him or her is crawling, hopefully sounding the floor as they go, rather than using their tool, however they're using their tool to sound the floor. Uh, the problem I see with this crawling hands and knees, as you can see, look at my body position. I'm down. If there's no floor here and I feel, all the weight of my body is going to carry me. Momentum is going to push me to the basement. It's going to be a sudden stop at the end. The other way uh, I call it as the duck method or the duck walk method, some people call it the lunge crawl as well. Um, will have you, your body in an upward position. So your body's up, your legs out in front of you. As you can see, look at me. I'm up, I'm positioned to where the fire, the products of combustion are going, so I'm also aware of my situation, where I'm at, my surroundings. Um, and at the same time, I've got a foot out in front of me that's going to fill. Make sure there is a floor there as well. So as I move through, I can use my tool of to sound as well. My thermal image camera, if I have that with me, hopefully. Um, but my foot's out in front of me, so therefore I'm moving and I'm sounding and my foot sees if there's a floor there or not. If there's not a floor there, compared to the other way, I don't have the momentum of my body carrying me forward. My foot's out in front of me, as you see, my body's kind of back, so if there's no floor there, I'm not going to go flying head first. Hopefully I can pull my foot back and get back into position and then retreat out of the building if there's not a floor there.